right, today is Thursday, October 10th. And I was listening to Pete Santilli's show's uh, YouTube channel about the broadcast yesterday. And I'm hearing this stuff about, you know, well, the trucker, trucker strike. Great idea. Um, but there's soccer moms or something calling and complaining about, uh, I won't be able to make my soccer game. They're worried about traffic. You know, anybody who is more concerned about how they're going to get around that weekend uh, rather than focusing on, you know, what this whole strike is supposed to be about, what it means, what's going on, uh, you're probably going to starve to death. You're probably going to starve to death. It's probably how it's going to go down. Uh, it's very sad. But um, the people that are not awake to what's going on, are going to be caught so unaware when this thing goes down. Um, some of the other things I heard that they're going to keep the left lanes open, and I guess they're not actually going to stop on the roads. They're they're just going to go down there and try to clog the traffic. Now I remember as a kid, uh, we were driving out west. Um, it was sometime back in the nineties. And we're driving along, and we're behind uh, a couple of tractor trailers. I think they went three wide to cover the shoulders, and they slowed down and they stopped. And we were about five or six cars back from these from these trucks that went three wide across the highway, and they stopped, and they shut down the highway. And I asked my dad, I was like, Dad, what's going on? You know, what why why aren't they going? The road's all clear ahead. And my dad said it's a trucker strike. They're you know mad about I d I don't even remember what it was. You know, fuel prices or regulations or some damn thing. Uh but you know, that had to have gotten some people's attention. Hey, we're stopped on the highway, there's trucks up there. And um you know, I think I remember asking my dad, well, can we ask him to move? And he's like, no. <laughs> Don't ask the truckers to move. No, just leave them alone. Let them finish whatever they're doing. So we sat there for about an hour, I guess. It may not even been that long. I don't know. It was a long time ago. <clears throat> and we went on. Um... You know that 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 kind of thing is going to get would would get some attention, and it wouldn't require all the trucks to all go down to D.C. I think there, you know, if we're going to do it, there should be a big contingency go down there. But truckers all across the entire country should designate a time and stop. Go go three wide on the highway and stop. Or go like five, you know, just go too wide so you're not breaking any laws and then do like five miles an hour. Uh, that way they can't, uh, you know, try to jump up there and drag you out of the truck. Or, you know, we, we've got such a, such a hostile uh, police state now compared to what we had back then. You know, who knows? They might just shoot the truckers and drag them out of their, out of their trucks if they stop on the highway now. Uh, there's no telling what the D.C. police are capable of. God knows they won't hesitate to shoot a, uh, a mother with her child in the back seat because um, she snapped coming off of uh, serotonin reuptake inhibitors. Uh, God help us if those deliveries stop. But, you know, if we're going to have a strike, there should be some teeth in it. Truckers. Go too wide on the highways, cover all the lanes, and just creep along. Go five, ten mile an hour, you know. Get everybody's attention. Get everybody like, hey, what, what is going on? What, what are these trucks so mad about? You know, maybe they'll uh, uh, flip off their Beyonce, Jay Z homepage and find out what's going on. Um, the other thing is, is that if we want to support them, we got to start. We shouldn't be so focused on uh, protesting with our mouths or our signs. We should protest with our wallets. Friday, tomorrow, everybody should pull as much money out of the bank as possible. Get all of your counts under 100 bucks. Keep only what you need in there to clear checks or to pay bills, whatever you're, whatever you're doing there. 
Uh, but as far as having any kind of a stash in the bank, hey, get it under a hundred under a hundred dollars. If we can force some bank runs, this is going to expose the banks for being the Ponzi uh, counterfeiting schemes that they are. Uh, we get enough people to pull out the money out of the banks, force the bank runs, um, really show that there are some um, systemic problems just in the structure, the way this thing is built. Um, you know, that'll get some attention. Having a bunch of trucks show up in D.C. to go around the Beltway, that's not that's not going to do anything. I like the truck stoppage, you know, no, no deliveries for the weekend. But how many truckers are willing to um, jeopardize their, their jobs? Now, creeping along on the highway, hey, <laughs> you can get away with that. Um, and it's a lot more effective, and it gets people's attention. Uh, and then between, you know, a couple of these, uh, you know, alternative news uh, audiences, if we can get the word out to the Alex Jones show people, the, all, the, all, all of his listeners, and uh, like Pete Santilli's show people, you know, get a couple of these audiences um, to all participate in a bank run, pull as much cash out as they can, get their counts under $100, that's the goal. And, uh, and cause some real problems with these banks before a false flag. They'll use the false flag as the cover to collapse the banking system, and everybody will be pointing at the false flag as the reason for the problems, not the structure of the banks. We have to expose the, the fallacies in the structure, the fractional reserve, the fact that it's a private banking uh, cartel that issues the currency. Um, we need... We need government issued money. Um, that's all, man. That, that's it for now. Just um, start voting with your wallet, um, and and get your money out of these banks because they're they're all they're all gonna go down. All right, that's it.